We are going to discuss a very interesting topic, globalization and the Indian economy. We are living in the era of globalization. Let us understand how it has affected our lives. The most evident effect it has had on the consumers. We find a wide variety of products flooded in the Indian market. Latest model of digital cameras, brands of all the mobile phones, automobiles, televisions and a variety of electronic goods are in the Indian market. This was not the case say about 25 to 30 years back. The only cars running on the Indian roads were Fiat and Ambassador and that also limited in number. To own a land phone line was uh, considered to be a status symbol. But today more than 80% of Indians own mobile phones. Consumers have a wide variety of goods to choose from leading to competitive markets. We can see that the markets have completely transformed. Since the ancient time, trade has been the factor for connecting the countries around the world. And even trade is a factor which has made the world a global family. We will talk about consumption and production till the mid 20th century. Both production and consumption were within the national boundaries of the country. What crossed the boundaries of the country was the raw material. But today, in the era of globalization, large companies called multinational companies have emerged. Multinational company is a company that owns or controls production in more than one nation in the world. MNCs want to earn great profit. So, in the process, they set up production in the regions where there is availability of cheap labor and other resources. In the process, goods and services are produced globally and so production is organized in a very complex way. We will understand this by the following example. We will take the example of an MNC producing industrial equipment and the market is in America and Europe. A large MNC producing industrial equipment buys technology from United States. The component of the equipment are produced in China as China is a cheap manufacturing hub. The components are shipped to Mexico and Eastern Europe. The demand for the product is in America and Europe. The labor is comparatively cheap there. To coordinate the production which is taking place at different places, India is chosen for the task of customer care. As there are a large number of English speaking people in India and they are also highly qualified 
engineers who can understand the technical aspect of production. Various factors considered by MNCs to set up production are closeness to market, availability of skilled and unskilled labor at low cost, favorable government policies that look after their interest. MNCs apply various methods to set up production across countries or interlinking production across countries. One method is to collaborate with the local producers and start joint production. The question that comes to mind is that why do local producers join up with MNC? The obvious answer is that they get more investment and latest technology to boost up their production and in this way both of them earn more profit. Another way is and this is the most prevalent and common method that an, 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 an MNC buys up a production house which is very well established with national network puts in more investment and increases production many fold. Another method is MNCs place orders with small producers, garments, footwear, sports item are example of this. MNCs have a huge wealth and they exert a lot of influence on small producers. They buy up the production and sell them globally by putting their brand names. We will take example of Ford company in interlinking market at widely dispersed places. Ford, an international automobile company, had production spread in 26 countries around the world, came to India in 1995. It spent Rs. 1700 crores to set up plant near Chennai, collaborating with Mohindra and Mohindra. By 2004, Ford was selling 27,000 cars in Indian market and 24,000 cars were being exported to South Africa, Mexico and Brazil. Ford has developed India as common component supplying base for its other plants across the globe. Thank you friends for watching my video. Please do comment, share and like my video.